Hello Youtubers! This video is a small lesson on how to address variables and access memory areas within them. In this video I will cover overlaying with AT command. Let's get started. Overlaying tags with AT command is a method where you overlay the declared tags with additional declarations. Therefore, you can address an already addressed tag with a different data type like individual bits of tag or array of pools. According to the Siemens manual, these, these rules must be followed. So, overlaying is possible in 1200 and 1500 series CPUs in STL, LAD, FBD and graph languages. SCL supports overlaying in all CPU families. Overlaying of tags is possible in the following blocks, in code blocks with standard access. As you know, by default, all blocks are created in optimized tags, so you need to change that in blocks properties. And in code blocks with optimized access for tags with the retain setting set in IDB. The data width of overlaying tag must be equal to or less than that of the overlaid tag. So let's say if you are going to overlay byte data type with an array of bits, then the length of the array must be 8 or less, as because uh, byte contains 8 bits. Okay. What's next? It is not possible to overlay tags of the variant and instance data types. If the overlay tag is of the data type string, array of bytes, array of char and etc, then the length should correspond to n of n number of bytes. So it must be like uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and so on. Blocks from libraries which are declared as parameters in the interface cannot be overlaid. Structured PLC tags that are declared as parameters in the interface cannot be overlaid as well. And you cannot address overlaying tags with uh, slice access. Slice access I will cover in my next video. Okay. So let's create now a new function block. I have already one, rename it to the overlay or any other you want to. And the remember, remember the rule of the standard axis. Yeah? So let's go to the properties, to the attributes and uncheck this optimized block axis. Okay. Now, let's open our newly created function block. Okay, so in the blocks interface, in the input parameter section, add a variable of type of double word. I already have one. And to overlay it, let's, uh, let's append one more variable and name it to in o word okay now in the data type section type et and data type again change to array of words now remember the next rule about the length of overlaid tag okay must be equal or less to the overlaying tag so double word contains two words so array is array length is two let's add one more tag name it in o byte okay and again at and this time it will be array array of bytes okay. the length of the array is four 
and one more in a bit again id and array of oh, sorry b0 to 31 Okay, now add outputs, so two words, four bytes, and 32 bit. Okay. Alright, now let's write a simple program where the values of the overlay tags are assigned to the corresponding outputs of the function. Okay. I have already one, so actually here is reasonable to use region. A region, this one will be words. And region, okay. This one, region. bytes and oops and reach okay reach bits oops zero to seven and region region and bits zero to fifteen and region. Okay, now it looks like much looks much better. All right, so now let's add our function block to the OB one. Just simply drag and drop. Okay. All right. Compile. Save. All right. Now let's test our program. For that, I'm going to create a watch table. Okay. Let's drag and drop variables to our fetch table. Okay. Now let's take a put words bytes. And bits. All right. If it start simulation, okay. So 
search for the PLCPU load the program no I don't want it as default okay 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 looks good everything let's load it of course we want to start those models all right to something like okay Booped. all our outputs are on let's turn the value to something okay again let's change to something else Program programmer looks good. Okay, now let's try to manipulate with those uh, memory areas. So for that purpose, create a function. Okay, and again remember the value, uh, the rule about uh, standard access. Okay, so let's go to the properties, and again attributes, and uncheck optimized block access okay okay this time in the blocks interface input parameters section let's add variable of type of uh, data type integer so it uh, will be a number of bit that we want to manipulate with in the input in the input output um, section let's add three three variables of type of boolean okay and a double word and one double word okay then in the temporary parameters uh, section add a variable of data type double word and overlay it with a, an array of uh, 32 bits okay now let's check our code let's run through our code so first of all we need to check that uh, number of the bits is uh, less than uh, 32 and greater than minus 1 if not just we are going to reset our 3 bits and exit the function next let's assign the value of our an overlay to the temporary to our temporary D word double word and then if the set bit is active we are going to set the corresponding bit and reset our set bit if the reset is true then we are going to reset the corresponding bit and reset our reset bit and if invert is true then we are going to invert our corresponding bit and after that we are going to assign our temporary overlay D board to IO overlay okay now let's create a data block where we are going to store our data okay data block I'm going to name it only manipulate okay 
let's add set reset invert and number okay let's drop our function into ob1 simplify the monitoring of our function let's create a visualization okay I have already one so first of all let's create a text list for bits Here I have a symbolic I.O. field where we're going to change the number of the bit and here is our bit text list. Here is I.O. field with our D word in hexadecimal format. Here is IO field for binary format. Here is a button to set the bit in the D word. This button resets the bit in our D word, and this button re inverts the bit in D word. Okay. Let's start our simulation. All right. Let's take a bit number nine and set it. Reset it. Invert. 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 Let's take another bit. Well, looks like function works well. Thank you for watching.